Welcome to another instructional snippet. In this video, we will be performing one dimensional heat conduction through a composite wall. We will find the heat flux as well as the various temperatures in the composite wall. We will be using a thermal resistance network for all calculations. I hope you find it informative. Shown is a composite wall that consists of two slabs. The thickness and conductivity of each slab is provided. The left side is exposed to a temperature of 3000 degrees Fahrenheit. The right hand side is exposed to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. The convection coefficient for each of these sides is provided. It will become clearer when we define the resistance network that there is perfect contact between the two slabs. In other words, we will not be including a contact resistance in the thermal resistance network. Here is the problem statement. These are the equations we will be using in the calculations, including how to calculate the heat flow through a thermal resistance network and how to calculate the thermal resistance for convection and conduction. Shown is the thermal resistance network for this composite wall. Going from left to right, R0 is due to convection on the left side. R1 is due to conduction through the first slab. R2 is due to conduction through the second slab, and R3 is for convection on the right-hand side. Let's solve for the heat loss per square foot of the wall, which is also the heat flux. The necessary equations are repeated. You will notice that each of the resistance terms has the heat transfer area in the denominator. This is factored out and moved to the left-hand side of the equation, which gives us the equation for the specified unknown. Substituting in values and units, we obtain the heat flux is equal to 513.4 BTUs per hour feet squared. Note that this is the heat flux through each slab. We will be using this to solve for other temperatures in parts gravel through delta. In part B, we find the temperature on the high temperature side of layer 1. We denote this as temperature gravel. The resistance network is shown and the only resistance is due to the convective heat transfer on the left side. Substituting in the already determined value for heat flux, we can directly solve for this temperature, which is 2957.2 degrees Fahrenheit. In part C, we solve for the wall temperature on the right hand side, which we label as T Charlie. There are actually many ways to do these calculations. I've chosen to keep going from left to right. The resistance network is shown. Once again, we substitute in the previous determined heat flux from part A and solve for the unknown temperature. We obtain temperature Charlie is equal to 336 degrees Fahrenheit. In part delta, we find the contact temperature between the two slabs, which we label as temperature delta. Following the same procedure, we obtain temperature delta is equal to 2475.9 degrees Fahrenheit. I hope you found this instructional snippet useful. If so, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day.